everyone, it's Sevi. The Yoon Jin character demo just dropped and I am so excited for this character, not just because I love Geo as an element, but because this character it looks like she's the love child of Mihoyo or Genshin. There's just so much thought put into her and I'm really excited to see it. So we're going to react to the character demo, then take a quick look at the additional information they've released about her on the Hoya Lab page. So let's get right into it. Demo in three, two, one. My name is Yunjin. It's such a pleasure to finally meet you. It oh, her voice is so nice. And a performance sometime. Oh, she's so pretty. The Yunhan Opera Troupe has been under my leadership for quite some time now. Oh, she gets life to perform there. Opera, just as opera reflects life. It's what I truly the music love, though and it's what I will be pursuing for the rest of my life. Oh, Many she's of a theater kid. Are centered around stories of gods and the adepti. Yes. So most operas focus on the supernatural too. But oh. in this age of humanity, I would rather oh. like to tell stories about ordinary people. Oh, that's I so I began amazing. my training in the art of the spear, hoping to enhance my performance in stage combat. I stuck with it, hoping to master the techniques of self-defense. Oh God! I grasp the basics now. I dare say she's so pretty. Be careful when we're sparring together in the future. I'm oh sorry. God, her voice. The music and her style. Strike is oh one. my God! I love the music so much. Like I would dance to this. Oh my god, you know, you know those characters who when you do their burst or their skill, the the NPCs, they clap. That has to be Yunja, like she's the epitome of it. Okay, I was not expecting the music to be, to go so hard because it was like, it was, I feel like it was more melodic. It, it had a lot more melody and variety than, than a bunch of other, of the Genshin themes because you know the Genshin music themes they usually go the dun 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 that wasn't here it was like a totally new theme but it was also really nice and fresh and inspiring and it was so Lyra just having Yunjin there a theater kid a theater troupe kid and then she learned self-defense and the art of the spear so she could so she could improve her stage performance like that is that is dedicated acting that is dedicated theater and oh gosh, her voice is so pretty. You know, she has those poses. She has that very intricate, very focused footwork. It's so cool. Like just the attention to detail. Oh my god. And then when she was like, when she was like, I want to tell stories about ordinary people. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. I love it. She might be a new favorite character for me. God. Let's take a quick look at her kit, what they've released on the Hoyo Lab page now. So looking at her basic information, we have Yun Jin, yes, Gio, birthday is May 21. So her English VA is Judy Alice Lee, Japanese VA is Koi Wai Kotori, and opera lines and singing are by Yang Yang. They got an actual Chinese opera singer to fill in her opera lines as well. Yun Jin is a support character who can increase normal attack damage. So note that it's normal attack damage, not plunging attack, not charged attack. And then here are her ascension materials. So the boss you need to farm is the wolf lord, the geo wolf lord. In her burst, it says specifically that the effects of the flying cloud formation will be cleared after a saturation or after being triggered a specific number of times. Shenhe's ability is also limited by duration and number of times triggered. So I'm assuming that they're putting that specific number of times triggered limit so that it's not too OP so that characters who hit several times or many many times in one go don't take too much advantage of it so that it's not too strong and then it says the effect is triggered multiple times according to the number of opponents hit so if you hit three opponents with just one normal attack then that counts as three triggered effects and then the number of times that the effect is triggered is counted independently for each member of the party. All of your party members, they get their own kind of 
limits not only in duration but in how many times it can be triggered. The value of Yunjin's buff is really going to depend on how high her defense can go. So that depends on her base defense definitely because you want to see how high that scales up and then on her multipliers. So the multipliers from her burst presumably which is what's going to scale the damage bonuses that Yunjin is going to give to your party's normal attack damage. So that's going to be all for this video everyone. I hope you enjoyed the Yunjin character demo. Let me know below what you think of her, how you reacted, and I'm going to see you soon. Take care!